Hello everyone, thank you for clicking on my video. Today I'd like to show you real quick the catch can that I put on the hybrid Toyota Prius and why I put it on there. Hey, I've got another repair going on on this, which gives me the opportunity to show you how I hooked up this catch can and everything. And since it's been on there for quite a while now, I do know for certain that it's gonna do and has done what I thought it was gonna do. And I can tell you with confidence that this thing does work. It is an asset and it is so worth putting on here. Shed some more light here. This is where I tuck the catch can in over here. It hasn't been rattling or anything. The hoses and everything are just kind of holding it here in place. I may end up putting a bracket on there anyway, but I'm going to have to fabricate something if I do. Or could just wrap it in rubber or something like that. But either way, it's been working very well, just tucked right in there. And I did have this off in order to get it in there. And I, if I do want to take it out of there, I would have to take this off in order to peel it out of there. I guess you could take this hose loose and sneak it out of there, but I just preferred taking the bolts loose, putting it in comfortably, and then put the bolts back into place. The This hose you see down here is just for draining purposes. It runs down there and I drain it that way. I'm going to show you a little bit more about that in a minute. These two hoses right here, they come together and run here, and I've got them tied down there to the dipstick tube with a zippy tie. Kind of keeps them out of the way of this clamp and it keeps them from hanging low. They both come across here. You can see my fingers, there's the two of them right there. And one of them over here goes over here and I don't know how much of a good view I can give you. I'm gonna try to sneak down here. It's going to the PCV. Can you see that? And uh, see, I put a brand new PCV valve in there just because I was working on it, so I might as well do that. I did have this intake off of here and was cleaning the intake when I did the install. I'm sure you can do that without having the intake off, but it's a pretty good idea to have the intake off and clean the intake. If you don't know how to clean the intake, I have a video on that in the Prius repair playlist. It shows you how to do that. The other hose, get my hand down here where you can see it. The other hose comes up here, and then I've got a connector here connecting it to this hose, which is a factory hose here. It goes right here to the intake, and that's where it's pulling the vacuum. The intake is pulling the vacuum through that hose, and normally that just goes over there to the PCV, and it's a straight shot from the PCV to the intake, and that's where all the gunk goes into the intake and accumulates down there in the intake. And then it gets, some of it gets pulled up in there to the intake and it just nasties up the intake really quickly. All right, with this setup, since I've connected there, the vacuum is being pulled into the intake from this hose, which goes all the way here to the catch can. The vacuum is pulled through the catch can, comes down this other hose and gets pulled through the PCV out of the crankcase and pulls all that gunk from the crankcase through that hose, through the catch can. The gunk falls and accumulates in the catch can. Notice I did not use the little filter here at the top because I wanted to actually pull the vacuum out of the crankcase. That crankcase air without most of the gunk in it, there's still some gunk, goes down the other hose and over here into the intake. And so you get less of the gunk. And let me show you how much less of the gunk you get. I just drained this and I tried to drain it into a little container. You see the little container there? And look at all that nasty stuff that came out of there. Now, one of the features that this particular catch can has i don't know if you can see it right there let me get something to point at it with all right right down there you see that little lever that is a little ball valve that's the lever attached to a ball valve on the bottom of the catch can and i just push the little lever to the side and also have this hose connected to it right here this hose so when I open up the valve valve, I can drain it into something like what I just showed you without having to pull the catch can out. I don't have to unscrew the catch can or any of that. 
I mean, if you're just changing the air filter or taking the air filter out to blow it out and you have the snorkel loose, that's a good time to drain the catch can. I hope you found that useful. If you are interested in having a catch can for your vehicle, and it doesn't have to be a Prius, it could be any kind of hybrid or any kind of non-hybrid car. If you were interested in the catch can that I used, I'll put a link to that one in the description of the video. But just remember, the little filter that comes with it, it goes on top in order to use it the way I'm using it. Don't put the filter on there, just leave that capped off. Thank you for watching so much of my video. If you're still here in the video, you're awesome. Now get off the couch and go get dirty.